Director of Public Policy Initiative at the Shehu Musa Yaradua Foundation. Thank you so much for being with us on the program today. Now, ECOWAS uh, is considering military intervention. Intervention. What kind of a conflict would that lead to, do you think? Well, um, we don't know for sure what kind of conflict it is. We know that, for instance, um, Niger has said they will fight back, and I think Burkina Faso and Mali have also spoken up that they will support um, what it uh, help protect the junta in, in Niger. Uh, that speaks to the fact that this is no longer this is going to uh, blow a bit out of proportion from being something that is contained within uh, Niger to probably now a regional conflict, and so that is. Of concern uh, because um, you know this is uh, you know uh, West Africa for instance has had pockets of fragility, pockets of violence, or pockets of conflict uh, over the past decades. Uh, but this is the first time that this is going to uh, begin looking like a full blown, full blown crisis. And commentators and observers alike are, are concerned that this is not mismanaged. Right, if this does indeed turn into a regional conflict, how is this going to affect the neighbors of Niger? Um, there is, you know, first of all, we, if you will recollect, uh, in West Africa, we do have, uh, you know, prevailing um, security challenges. We've got Boko Haram, we've got ISWAP in, in the region, and it has been a huge problem, and we've had um, loss of life in, in, in the thousands. Uh, so there's a potential that this could also uh, take that uh, um, pattern. And, and what you would see is that there would be um, quite a lot of loss of life and uh, it would affect mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, unarmed citizens uh, and individuals who are not actually part of the, the armed forces. Um, if we look at that experience that we've had with Boko Haram, there's a potential that this could, you know, civilians could be targeted, mm -hmm. and that is potentially concerning for us. Right, and there is the France factor in all of this. Not only the junta want to limit the influence that France has over the country, but the people of Niger also want to see uh, French military personnel leave. Uh, yes, I, I think that this is something that is important in this conversation is that um, there's a lot of um, discussion and, and the, a lot of this conversation is focused on what France wants, what um, ECOWAS as a regional bloc wants. Uh, there's a lot of focus on, for instance, the influence that Russia wields in, you know, in the sub-region. Uh, but I think there should be more focus on what exactly Nigerians want and how they would like to see the situation resolved. Because at the end of the day, it is still their country. They are the ones that would bear the biggest uh, costs when it comes to whatever happens with this uh, situation. And I think that it's important and very humane that uh, Nigerians uh, be the key stakeholders that influence the strategy that this sub-region uh, undertakes to, uh, as it were, restore constitutional rule uh, in their country. All right, Amara Avampa, thank you so much for being with us here on the News Hour. It was a pleasure speaking to you. It's a pleasure speaking to you too. Thank you.